need. We can't use honey for certain things, but we can use honey for other things. And the guy eats three times as much as anyone else in the house. Who do you nominate for one point for eviction and why? Um, this week again, I'm voting uh, one point for Geneva. She has incredible mood swings um, and I really just don't like her general attitude towards me and uh, the way that she speaks to me. What do you mean you don't like the way she talks to you? Well, the same as what I said last week, big brother, just mood swings. Um, example, um, last night when we were discussing shopping, she started getting, shut up, shut up you W. And then this morning, um, you know, it was raised by another housemate who she um, is infatuated with, and uh, there wasn't a problem there. Well, who's that? Who's Geneva infatuated with? Michael. Michael. Oh, well, I think that makes hot dogs sound jealous. OK, six housemates so far have taken a swat at the nomination, Mozzie. So let's check the tally board. So Geneva has snuck into the lead with five. Jana and Michael are still locked together at four points each and Hot Dogs and Dean have moved up to two points. Tim has attracted just one nomination point so far. OK, so six noms down, four to go. A confession from Constance will be coming up soon, but first, Angela will be joining us live. You know I'm not one to gossip, but I will make an exception for you after the break. Oh, man. Oh, I'm done. <laughs> At least you look like a queen. Yeah. You have a great time. Oh. Oh. Oh, well, actually, she's never been here before, of course. It's fabulous Angela coming here right now. <laughs> How are you? Take a seat. You look beautiful. Thank you. It's amazing what some people can do outside of the house. Have you slept? <laughs> oh, an hour or two. Well, you look great. You've still got Thank the tiara you. on your head. Yeah. So what has today been? It's just been so many radio interviews, talking, listen, oh, it's been full on. Now I heard that you started this morning and you were very polite <laughs> and, you were, and you were being really well behaved and you loved yes. the house and all the people yes. in it. By this afternoon you were saying something like if Gianna was lying on the ground you'd stomp on her. No, I'd trip. Oh, you'd trip. Yeah. I'm sorry, <laughs> completely different. So how come the mood change? Did you get tired? I, I was delirious, you know, and people like were watching the show and they were pulling what they wanted out of it and they knew that there were just some people they could get some good stories out of me, so I, I gave them what they wanted. Yeah. Now, <laughs> I wanted to ask, because Gianna's up next to nominate, mm -hmm. and in the package that you sent back into the house in it that we showed tonight in the Daily yeah. Show, you commented on the nurse's outfit. Did I? Yeah, and I just... Well, you said, oh, something about, you know, wearing the G-string yeah. with the nurse's outfit. Yeah. Did that surprise you that someone actually pack a nurse's outfit to go into the Big Brother's house? I said that at the time of the strip tease that I witnessed, yeah. And um, I just loved the way, though. She was like, oops, I forgot to put my pants on. <laughs> <laughs> and then, like, the way she walked, if anyone noticed, it was a strut. She's done it before. Oh, well, that's a bit scandalous. Oh, what do you think she's done before? I'm not one to gossip. But, no, I you know. know. <laughs> Amazing what you can say by sticking that phrase in front of it. Well, we're gonna we're gonna not gossip a okay. little bit more, but we'll we'll see who Gianna nominates okay. first. Okay, let's go with that. You know what? I am happy with myself. So whatever fun they try to poke out at me, right? They're just making themselves look like dickheads. Don't judge me on my size. Yeah, that's true. They don't know what I've done. But my, Have you told them? They don't even... Do you know that I'm a state weightlifting champion? No. Wow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what's funny? Yeah. Well, I'm not very good at bowling, but I was actually runner-up for state champion for South Australia. <laughs> In bowling. <laughs> Gianna. Big brother. Who do you nominate for two points for eviction and why? I nominate Geneva for two points. And the reason why I do it 
is because the other day when we were doing the task uh, to make the moulds of the bodies, I everyone was talking and I put in my reason and I discussed it with her and she just sort of fogged it off. And then about two minutes later, she then uses my idea and puts it forward and everyone like congratulated her on her fantastic idea. Gianna, you're not being clear. About how, how did that affect you? Well, it affects me because it feels like I didn't, I wasn't listened to and it made me feel like she wasn't respecting my input or my feelings. Who do you nominate for one point for eviction and why? I nominate Michael for one point. I'm sick of seeing his butt hanging out of his pants every single day, all day, and um, also his table manners as well, like he's always burping at the table. What about Michael's butt, to use your word, offends you? Well, to be honest, I think it's really disrespectful. You wear pants to cover parts of your body and it's not... He, he wears it like that because he likes it to hang out. Every time I look around and he's sitting down or he's bending over, all I see is his big white ass. <laughs> OK, well, that was, you know, serendipity that we should end up talking about bums and undies. Now, why did everybody laugh with this state bowling champion and state weightlifting? <laughs> Do, do, you don't believe that? Oh, I just loved it. Like I've said to people on radio today, like you could be drinking a bottle of champagne, saying this is a great champagne, and her comeback will be, did you know that that company actually asked me to be the face and the spokesperson for their champagne? <laughs> you know, and she'd be like, I was talking about, I went in a, I said, oh, I went in a MIG jet once. She said, oh, I was going to be a fighter pilot, but I was actually too short. <laughs> so I just said, oh, you didn't make it past the clown standing like this? <laughs> <laughs> so... You are charming and delightful, aren't you? See, everyone's starting to understand my comments were fair. You know, like, you see this, it's like... That's the hard yeah. thing. Your personality <laughs> was too big. Should it ever happen again, you'll have to try yeah. and lay low. Yeah. Yeah, I will. Now, regarding the Logans, would you have nominated yeah. either of them this week? Mmm... No. It's interesting, isn't it? And we see this conundrum now. I think they're going to go under the radar a bit. Because there's two personalities there, so it's very hard. That's exactly it. That's why. Well, actually, Geneva comments on that, so yeah. let's look at that, and then we'll see the Logans nominate. I reckon those two twins are going to cause so much trouble. Because it's two... F that makes it so much harder that it's two for one vote. Because if you, even if you remotely like the other one, you're not going to vote for Logan. I hate to be able to like Greg. Logan Greg, Logan David. You are. Who do you nominate for two points for eviction and why? Can we have a minute to discuss it, please? Yes. Um, okay, who do you think for two points? Um, do we, we don't want to do it under the radar or anything. What strategy, strategy first? What strategy? Do you think trying to play strategy? Um, one point, most probably... Geneva's fine, I reckon. But Geneva's I don't okay. have to worry about that. Um, I, just, I think the fine situation's a big thing. Logans, who do you nominate for two points for eviction and why? Uh, two points, Diana. Uh, the reason... It makes me feel uncomfortable. And that makes me feel left out and alone. How? By saying stuff. Behind his back. And, oh. I, and from what I can see, is it, it's a, ta a lot of gossip. A lot yeah. Of, not, not positive gossip, not n nor negative, but it just... Um, it's just crap. It's just crap that you really I'm don't... Sick of hearing crap. That I think will affect um, our chances. Yeah. You haven't explained what she does or says. Um, the other night... She was coming up to me, trying to kiss me, and was putting me on the spot into a situation that I didn't feel comfortable in. And that made me feel sort of un very uncomfortable at the time, and I didn't like that situation. And it made me feel insecure. Why did it make you feel insecure? She was drunk. She was yeah, intoxicated. Who do you nominate for one point for eviction, and why? Um, 
we nominate Michelle for one point. Uh, reason being is she's received a number of fines. Her attitude towards receiving these fines is just... I don't think it's good enough, but I think she should be more careful.